Hi everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to the lecture on logistic regression of this machine learning course. This section is about multiple class classifications. We've seen that softmax regression can be used to generalize logistic regression to tackle multiple class classifications. However, there are other approaches which can be used even if the classification model has no generalization to treat multiple class classification problems. The idea is to use multiple models which can decide between two classes. The first approach is called one versus all. To decide between capital L classes, we need capital L models. Each of these models is trained to decide for a sample whether a specific class is present or not. Each model returns a probability value for the presence of its specific class. The final prediction is then the class with the highest probability score. Note that the name one versus all indicates that each model can decide between a single class and all other classes. The second approach is called one versus one. Here models are trained to decide between two of the capital L classes. So we have a model which can decide between class A and class B another model for class B and class C, and so on. So each model compares one class against another. This is why this approach is called one versus one. For each class we have capital L minus one different models. Further, we have capital L different classes. Because the positions of two classes are interchangeable, we got capital L times capital L minus 1 divided by two different models. For classification, every model gives a plus 1 for the one of the two classes which has a higher probability. Finally, the model with the highest score gives the estimation for the class. In general, the number of models to train in 1 versus 1 is larger because the number of classes capital L is quadratic in the number of models. But each model does not need all of the data because it is limited to only two classes. So for a large number of classes you should prefer one versus all. And for a large number of data points you should prefer one versus one. Section finished. If you like this video please click the like button and consider to subscribe this channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment down below. And thanks again for listening. See you in the next section.